channel and today we watch um, life after Chernobyl I actually have not heard about Ch the Chernobyl disaster until I watch the vlog of uh, how do you pronounce her name Kara <coughs> and so sorry if I pronounced her name wrong but after I watched Terrace and Nate's vlog and they went to when they visited Chernobyl then I found out a little bit more about what Chernobyl is but until then I didn't really know that anything about Chernobyl. So this like whole documentary that came out I um on 2016 so a bit of background on chernobyl so the chernobyl disaster was a nuclear accident that occurred on the 26th of april 1986 so the number f the four number four reactor nuclear reactor actually exploded in Chernobyl and if you do not know where Chernobyl is, you know, Chernobyl is north of the of Ukraine, which is the north of the SSR. And it is a little bit different from the um Fukushima nuclear explosion because the Fukushima explosion is due to it's not on it's more like due to the tsunami than a man made I do not know how to spell Fukushima. Actually, I am wrong. It is said now that the Fukushima explosion was profoundly man-made. At that time, because I went through the... Uh, this is a little bit off topic, but because I went through the 2011 Japan earthquake and I thought, and I was told that it was due to the tsunami, that's why the um the radioactor the where the Fukushima is ex like, exploded. But this one is really man made, the one in Chernobyl. And the whole like area where until today it is still considered unsafe to be in and the area where Kara and Nate went to it is uh, considered safe already but if you guys want to see how it's like now, I have posted two links. Oh, I am peeling my skin off. One is to 
the video that I've watched about life after Chernobyl, and the other is the vlog linking to Tara and Nate's to show both perspective. And so, two biologists, Rob and Marianne, went to into Chernobyl, and they have seen things that is unbelievable. So there's these two old folks that returned to Chernobyl just because they were considered outcasts. I feel so sorry for them because um, it is not their fault that the reactor exploded, but when they were reassigned to a new home, they were placed as an outcast because they think people that around the area thought that they are radioactive. And then we see bugs that are mutated. I cannot imagine having a mutated bug living around here. Like living anywhere. And then you have like catfish that is like three to four times its size of what a regular catfish is. And yeah. And then out of the depths something bigger. Much bigger. It looks like there could be monsters here after all. 